Side investigation is underway into the death of a mother found shot inside a burning home in Englewood. Tonight, her father is sharing his plea for justice. He is speaking with WGN about his heartbreak and how he is remembering his daughter. WGN's Courtney Spinelli is joining us from 35th and Michigan with his message. Courtney. Ray and Lourdes, Mother's Day is just two days away, and now five girls are left without their mom after she was found with a gunshot wound at the scene of a house fire early this morning in Englewood. She was smart. She was intelligent. And most of all, she was a caring mother. She, I mean, she loved her daughters. Raquel Adams' five daughters, ranging from a toddler to their mid-teens, will grow up without their mom, their hero, their best friend. For my grandbabies to wake up to find out that their mother had passed, is, is just horrendous. Brian Adams says Raquel's pride and joy were her girls. He nicknamed his firstborn daughter Rocky and says she truly was his rock. It's still so surreal to me that my daughter is gone in, in the manner that she passed away. You know, it was a coward thing that this person did. Chicago police say it was around 1245 Friday morning in the 6400 block of South Damon when officers on patrol saw a small fire on the side of Raquel's house and requested the fire department. Officers searched and found the 32 year old unconscious. She was rushed to the hospital, but didn't survive. You know, I'm seeing or thinking about is she's calling for me and I cannot be there for her, you know, and it has just hurt me so bad. Investigators learned Raquel suffered a gunshot wound to the back of her head. The home she was found in is where she lives with her daughters and boyfriend, but family says she dropped her girls at their grandmother's house, so they weren't home. I wish I could have been there. I wish, you know, and you go through a lot of I wish, but it's just so heart wrenching, you know, to find out, you know, somebody you raised, you changed diapers, you kissed, you loved and hug, you know, is gone. Until her final moments, he says his daughter was always there for him, including days ago after a heart procedure. Now he's left to try and mend a broken heart. It hurts really, really bad. Brian rushed to the scene when he heard the news. When he was able to go inside the home, he saw something no dad ever wants to see, yet something he'll never be able to shake. What stood out the most is seeing my daughter's blood. Brian says closure will never be an option, but to start healing, they need the person responsible to be held accountable. Oh, I wish this person would, you know, do the right thing and turn themselves in, you know what I mean? Because this is something that I can't let go. As of tonight, police say no one is in custody in connection with the case. Chicago fire officials have also deemed the fire suspicious in nature. Area 1 detectives, of course, continue to investigate this from CPD and ask anybody with information to call them or leave a tip anonymously. Reporting live outside of police headquarters, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.